First though, rechargeable batteries power everything from your cell phone to your laptop, kids' toys. But do you know how to make sure these things don't catch fire while charging? Is that something you're even worried about these days? Well, here at News 6, we're getting results for your safety. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. A News 6 investigation revealed there were no statewide safeguards for storing lithium-ion batteries. Our investigation played a crucial role in passing a new law. A reminder of what News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval uncovered. Several fires last year started by lithium-ion batteries, including one inside an e-bike repair shop in New York that killed four people. And most recently in Brevard County, an e-bike battery caused a fire that sent one person to the hospital with severe burns and destroyed a home. And these fires, they spread fast. It scares the daylights out of me. It is a fire that burns hotter and faster than any fire we've ever seen and we don't have the tools. After our investigation, lawmakers introduced a bill creating a safety checklist for storing and charging devices with lithium ion batteries. In February, Eric traveled to Tallahassee to see those changes pass the final committee before a Senate vote, and we got results. So we've been, with that signature that the governors did, that's enabled rulemaking. So we're going to lean forward and we're going to start creating policies that make sense for safe handling to make sure that our families are safe and our first responders are safe. But uh, KMG was a great partner with all that. Couldn't have done it without them. So this new law gives the fire marshal's office the power to create new rules on safely charging devices that use lithium ion batteries. So News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval went to Tallahassee to see how these new rules would work. We're right outside the Florida Department of Financial Services, which oversees the state fire marshal's office. And we just got out of one of the first meetings here in the state capitol designed to reshape these fire safety rules. We also got our first look at what these rules may look like. We appreciate your participation in today's workshop. The public hearing in Tallahassee brought in fire protection leaders from across the state, including Tony Affelbeck, who traveled here from Altamont Springs. This is all very fresh. Everything is coming out every single day. By the time we publish this, some portions of this will undoubtedly be out of date. News 6 first exposed the fact that there were no safety rules for storing and charging lithium ion batteries earlier this year. Our coverage helped spark a new law. KMG was a great partner with all that. It gives the state fire marshal's office the ability to write those new rules to prevent those battery fires. And we just got a hold of a working version of the rules the state is considering. When charging scooters or electric bikes, Residents and businesses would first need to follow the manufacturer's guidelines. They would need to designate a specific outlet to charge them. No extension cords could be used and no debris could be within 10 feet of the charging station. And that charging station could not be located near an exit. More rules are being proposed for electric vehicles and making sure parking garages are equipped with fire sprinklers. And the group knows they need to move fast because these batteries are everywhere. Technology um, always moves faster than, than safety. Now, more of these meetings are scheduled, and they're actually taking them on the road. Some of them are scheduled for Central Florida, too. One in Kissimmee in October and another one in Melbourne set for November. They're also taking comments online. And, of course, we're going to put all of this information on our website at clickorlando.com. We're in Tallahassee, Eric Sandoval, getting results, News 6. The thing is, no one had any idea how dangerous these batteries were until things started catching fire on charging stations in the middle of the night. Right, and then some random surveillance video caught them. And when you see these fire, these aren't like little candle fires. No, these and firefighters explosions. say their main tool, water, does not doesn't work. Doesn't work on it, yeah. yeah.